Hey everyone, Theta here, back again with another Gunbuster episode. We just finished episode 4 yesterday, and I said uh, I was given some space, but I said, let's do it like an episode every day. That should be enough time, right? Uh, well, it's left me enough time, but at least uh, three thoughts uh, in my head. Because the episode was so badass. <laughs> that was the culminating episode, right? For everything that's happened so far. That uh, there really wasn't much to comment on that I didn't say when it was happening. But, um, yeah. I think... It's kind of funny to think, but uh, Coach has been pushing Noriko with all this tough training in an ordinary mech. There's all these complex control systems, right? To the point that it's almost bewildering to try to imagine the control... Like how we said, close your eyes, and uh, the thing I commented on before. Only for her to actually get in the Gunbuster, and for it to be totally the G Gundam control system. You know, he, like, she doesn't have to go to the thing that, like, latexes her whole body. Like, uh, Domo and Kashu does, but... It's very much seems like a one-to-one -one control system. So much easier than the thing he was trying to force her... To, uh, to fight it. I understand it if it was like a do this harder thing, and if you can do this harder thing to the specifications I need you to do the easier thing in, you will be that much easier in the easier thing. I mean, you'll be that much better, sorry, in the easier thing. Then I get that. That's totally cool. It just seems like this was an unnecessary step for training her in a completely different uh, control model. Apparently, the subtitle of You Can Always Pour More Milk isn't exactly what was said. Though I still love the line, as I've heard it, the uh, more direct translation is that you can still scoop spilt water, which is kind of a disgusting notion from a sanitary level. You're, you're not upset that the milk is on the floor or the water is on the floor, because you don't want to drink that water. You don't want to drink the water that's on the floor. So the idea that the water's not gone, you can still scoop it up, doesn't hold as much sway as you just pour more milk. Which I guess is also kind of like a, a higher level thinking of, yeah, we have more milk. Like, if you don't have any more milk, you know, thinking about it now, that's more of a don't cry when you drop ice cream sort of thing. You know that uh, children's thing? That every child's movie has at some point, or or most of us have memories of, of being a kid and then accidentally dropping an ice cream cone. It's not that you can't get more ice cream, it's just that might that's that could be the only ice cream you had. You dropped it. And you certainly don't want to eat it off the ground. I think the mistranslation will probably be the one to stick with me. Uh more than the you can always scoop uh spilt water. I understand it. It is a good phrase in its own. I think you can always pour more milk. Just as like a slap in the face to anybody else. The idea that humanity is just an infection. That the monsters are clearing up uh, from the true cosmic biology. Has to be the greatest insult you could write to mankind. And based a show around. I mean, I've read that thought plenty of times. I love the movie Virus, for example, where the uh, the electronic uh, intelligence comes down, infects our machines, and starts uh, creating, like, I don't know, not, not like Borg with us, but just like body horror shit with our bodies. He calls us a virus based on our own definitions of terms. But, um, anyway, back to my thought process. None of those times was the entire basis of the universe present to wipe humanity out for it. Well, maybe uh, except for the book series Galactic Center. Um, the River of Night, I think, is one of the books that mainly comes to mind. That might not be the name of it. If you look up uh, Gregory Benford, uh, one of my favorite sci-fi authors. Not, my, not uh, my favorite, one of my favorites. Uh, you'll find uh, you'll find it. Uh, I'm looking up Galactic Center. The idea is that there's these machine intelligences all over the galaxy 
that were created by biological life forms that uh, had since died off and eventually reached their own intelligence uh, of their own, own volition over long periods of time. And they form the basis that is intelligent life in the galaxy. And they see biological life as just a uh, just this thing. Like, they tend to try and destroy us. Other times they don't even pay us any attention. But the galactic center is where they mostly live because they get most of their energy off of the, uh, I think it's the quasar at the center of the universe. Not the universe, center of the galaxy. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. Uh, humanity is on such an insignificant scale to the things trying to wipe them out, as seen in the science clip, that it is really like us trying to uh, destroy bacteria. Hardly noticeable, unless you were uh, dedicated to it like these things are. Even still, to the scope of that mothership at the end of the uh, the science thing, uh, would have to be the closest thing we've seen to a person scaled to a blood cell inside of them, despite how hard a fight uh, a gunbuster might have against all of these monsters, to that scale, it would still be imperceptible to the whole of the being. That is, that is how crazy the scale of this gets. Like, imagine, imagine however epic the gunbuster battle gets. I guess from the uncompleted one. I don't know if anything happens in these last two episodes. If it goes, uh, if it goes Gurren Logon levels, then it's really that blood cell gets the size of you, and suddenly now you're fighting, you're fighting the mecha version of yourself instead of, uh, the virus is inside of you, in which case. Has anyone made that anime yet? Because I would kind of like... I, I'd be down for that. You you do a Cells at Work, but then you do a Cells at Work Gurren Lagann version where the, the bacteria inside of you are fighting for their lives and getting bigger and bigger. I don't know, though. As somebody who's been dealing with cancer himself... I don't know that I'd much appreciate the thought of a person sitting there with this bulbless uh, lesion thing growing on them, all of a sudden bursting out, now you have to fight your cancer. Although, I actually know that might make... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm going off on a hard tangent here, but I'm just thinking that might actually make a really good series. Somebody could do it right. Hey, is Anno still making anime? Somebody, somebody give me a call here. Anyway. Let's go ahead and watch the next episode. My main concern here is they either they were joked or they were being serious about storyboarding new episodes. Now, again, I'm coming out of this having just watched Nadia, The Secret of uh, Blue Water, where they didn't finish a lot of storyboarding, and we went through two hard arcs of really bad show. So I'm hoping Gunbuster doesn't just end here as a bad show where they did they pull on Nadia. People love it, so I'm assuming it's gonna be great and they, they, they managed to go back on what they did in the past. So let's just go ahead and watch and see what happens. I also realized why my sound was so funky. Apparently I had my thing all the way to like 50%. This is back before they went on the ship, right? Oh no, okay.早すぎる卒業式。私はこの校舎には4 I was worried that was going to happen. Takaya Noriko. Hi. 
so the hard ass became a trainer. And are they implying that the classic girl is dead? あの、あなた高谷のりこさん。これやっぱ they said that she got to come back. The other girl didn't. That should every time you come back. There's a next generation battleship waiting to take you back out again.地球脱出用の船らしいわ。え噂だと軍人を優先させるから民間人で乗れるのは4000人に1人ですって。そんな。あ、we're I, uh, I'm just kind of hoping that we do pull a girl log in. That we do pull a girl log in and I'll tow rope. Then we just say fuck it and we save Earth. Bye bye. かみちゃんの未来か。君子はすっかり母親なんだ。宇宙にいる間に<笑> Yeah, how long is it going to be till they send their next wave of attack? Jesus Christ! スタイレーダーによる計測値は目標が密集体系を取っているため、正確な数は把握できず、推定でもおそらく奥は超えており、領域は約80点も以下。It Unless we really do abandon Earth and the Rossio moment from Gurren Lagann is just a big fuck you to this. Yeah, haven't you gotten it yet? Jesus. Are you trying to backstab her again?
You think is she like the coach's daughter or something? Or do you just slap her to get out of the room so she wouldn't see this? So I'm just trying to metatrope my way around whether it's going on. コーチのことは諦めるの。まあ、人は自分と同じ人生を歩めない。だから出会いがあればそれだけ別れもあるってことよね。一度しかない自分だけの人生ですもの。一分でも無駄にしたくないわ。時は止まってくれないものね。しか
Alright, most of them playing go again. Take Boso Sita Shiktairo, Nihun Yonju Yogoni, Jinko Black Hole Tonari, Rayo Segoto, Techno Taikango Nomikundas. Sono Gueniva, Basta Machine was Shoshimas. Otakun, Micha Yuna. Take your soak with you. What other choice do you have? Kid Hogan Doita Saxon Garden, you in the sky. Are you as much you? Also, why wouldn't you let him in if he's like the commander of the operations? Why aren't you two in orbit by now? It's already tomorrow. Oh, God, I used to buy so many telephone cards. あの、荷物少ないんですね。あなたもね。だって今度はすぐ帰ってくるんですもの。we you travel anywhere, it's gonna be years though. Yeah. Although to be fair though, you did six months before on your last visit before the ten years thing. The one who's constantly trying to backstab me. You better hope Coach comes with you on this fight. If he don't, he's gonna be dead before you get back. I don't know, it's only six months. I was imagining another ten year one. Not sure what a buster machine is. They don't seem to be the gun buster itself. Unless they merge with it or something. Oh, I wouldn't say being on crutches is fine. Oh, it is a love thing. Okay. Exactly what I said. It's exactly what I said. I keep forgetting our Soviet genius. I was like, isn't that Linda? Didn't she die last episode? You're like, uh, you're like, what's his name for Grandma Gun? We're doing Gurren Lagann in six episodes. It's crazy. Also, she collects dolls. That's also crazy.
I imagine all those white dots in the background are the enemy. I do love the added element of uh, time being a factor here. That can't be AU. Astronomical units can't be AU here because that would put them outside the solar system. Well, maybe actually. Sorry, I thought the idea was to. Uh... Oh, Jupiter 2. Sorry, I said I heard Jupiter. I thought they were going to blow up Jupiter. Okay, so they're just ships equipped with a gunbuster beam. That kind of remind me of, uh, the Gundam 00 aliens. From a far shot, not on the up close. Pay more attention to what's going on around you, maybe. You know, he's gonna be dead if you fail here, too, right? Yeah, we know it's unmanned. Did you just... Did you just fail your mission? So I know a lot of that ship can blow up. Norika is a really is our main guy here. Noriko, sorry, it's so wrong. Oh, they are the Gunbuster. They are. Okay, we're doing a Gundam thing where we merge. Oh, they even do the arms folded, go down to the chair. Th oh, 
All it's missing is the drills. Someone's last speech. Final speech? They give him the final speech. Defensive Earth one with the two that collapse. It's everything. It's every Grunlaga took everything. They are so close to fucking just having thrills on this thing. How many of these things have you not killed yourselves already? セコです。本日午後10時45分。パロマ天文台で G型の But he comes down with his arms folded. Oh, they got has doors everywhere. Solo or two. Come, 
めんねスミスもう泣かない約束だったよねでもキミコは褒めてくれるわよねねパパオッケー、やっと終わったよ。私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私Because I see both Gunbuster ship things here. Okay. Okay, that explains that then. Uh, well, of course he knew the coach was going to be so diehard he would stick in there for at least another month. I'm assuming he's still dying. I'm assuming they didn't miracle their way out a,、uh, a cure for his disease right there at the end. Ah,、oh, that was so great. That was every. That was. I feel like Gurren Lagan must have taken Gunbuster's best scenes and decided to break them up and split them out into a bunch of other episodes in their second half, because that was clearly the、uh, Save Earth from the Falling、uh, Moon or Protect Rossio's Escape Ship, which they also mentioned here. Not Rossio's ship, you know, the Earth Escape Ship thing. When those two. Spinning ones come down over the ship. They had that here. They had the speech from the very end of the show. You know, the, the matchups. They had everything here. They had everything to make it fucking amazing.、Oh, they even had. What's his name? Sorry, my mind is so blanking right now. What's his name? What he goes. This drill is Simone's soul. It's humanity's soul. And you know what? It's my soul. You know, they have. This was a fucking amazing episode. This could, if not for the fact that I still love Gurren Lagan more, be the best episode of anime I may have ever seen. Even though I'm going to have to go back through this and edit a lot of stuff. Not a lot of stuff. We had a second or third episode where I had to put up a lot of weird edits. You're not going to see this, Patreon viewers. But maybe go back and watch the YouTube version just for the funny little edit things I had to do. You might see better edits on other things, but on this channel, that's my first time having to do that.、Uh, I don't think I'm going to have much breakdown because that was just me open mouth watching a show that I enjoyed with very few real commentary. Maybe next episode I'll have actual commentary. I think, other than that, though, let's go ahead and go into the,、um, the science breakdown, see what they had to say. Plus one. Amanda, but the Locren Brinimasa can of Katsotogeta, Shin Kanaku Koza. そして第三世代は宿題路を装備した累積型の超速宇宙船ですまさに人類の夢これの一番感がパパのルクシオンですねええそして第四世代のエクセリオンではエーテルを積極的に利用するために旧来の累積型ではなくリフティングボディを採用していますそうでしたっけ第五世代のエルトリウムはさらに進歩した Which is only 16% done これぞ人類の英知の結晶ねあれこの船メインノズルが見当たりませんけどそういいところに気がついたわね第5世代のエルトリウムはエネルギーの反作用で進むいわゆるニュートン型の粒子推進ではないの純粋数学を使って周囲の空間の物理法則を書き換えながら進むいわばアルゴリズムの粒子推進この船では空間の薄くなったインガリスをカバーするために高中心には電脳化したイルカと超能力者を使っているわそそうでしたっけ Feel around the heavens. 
ではバスターマシンについて説明してみろはいバスターマシン3号は決戦用の戦略兵器として開発されました3号本体は半径1万光年に付設された約3000本のスレイブの起爆進化も兼ねていますバスターマシン1号2号は3号の直円を目的に試作された高機動戦艦です合体して究極のマシン兵器ガンバスターになります量産型のシズラーでは変形合体を省略して宿体炉を1機のみとしているわじゃあガンバスターが無敵なのは宿体炉を2機搭載してるからですね甘いぞタカヤガンバスターは努力と根性をエネルギーにしているから無敵努力と根性には限りがないからなはいコーチ6年経っても進歩のないやつだあなたもねそれじゃまたバイバーイ、okay. Okay, that was interesting. I don't remember Gunbuster number three, though. And that explanation sounded really weird, especially considering the fact that we're still defending Earth. And they were talking about like 10,000 slave mines? Or they, oh, they're probably talking about drones in the, that version of slave, like the slave、uh, system that runs the computer, you know, like a raid. All right, that makes more sense. And then they're talking that why that would be why there's all this other shit like in the background here, the overlay. Those are mines, apparently. Okay. I guess I just didn't notice the third ship that was out there with them. I thought that was, they said that was on board the Exilion, which is kind of hidden here by the overlay. Made more apparent if I、uh, do the small version for what I'm talking. Okay, yeah, I can see that. But again, I think I made the joke before of the whole close your eyes and fight, and that we were going to some sort of weird psychic Esper new type thing. And here we are, and the ship is navigated by psychics and、uh, uplifted dolphins or something. So, yeah. Either that's going to come into play next episode, or that's going to be a thing come、uh, Die Buster, maybe. Maybe this one starts with normal science and then Die Busters goes fucking crazy. I mean, I assume that the middle step between Gunbuster and Gurren Lagan, even though they're not connector shows, has to be a fucking crazy middle step, right? So that's what I'm waiting for. That's what I'm anticipating. Otherwise, I loved today's episode. This was great. It was a great build up from the last episode, which itself was a great build up from the previous episodes. I think that's my, that's my span of the show. The first.、Um, shoot, where are we at? We're at five now, right? The first three episodes are one arc in their own. Then we, we trip up into the upgrade, into episode four, which is its own middling. This is our first steps into greatness. And then episode five. We are in greatness. That's where we are now. So, yeah, I should have better formed thoughts come my next recording session. And I'll see you then. Otherwise, for right now, this has been Theta, another solo stone face reactions, Gunbuster. I will catch you next time. Bye bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stone Face Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?